you, uh, you know why you've been called in? No. We've discovered that there's a relationship going on here at the dealership, and Mig here has refused to tell us who she's having a relationship with. We figured you, being great friends with her, you might be able to help shed some light on this. Can you help us out? Um, uh, yes, sir. So, Tim, this person that Mig has been seeing, can you give us a name, please? You guys don't know his name? No, that's why you're here. Oh, uh, not his name. I, I don't know his name. She's told me things about the guy, but I don't really know his name. I can describe him from as far as what she's told me. Uh, apparently, this guy's a handsome guy. Real good looking guy. Strong dressing kind of guy. You know? This guy should be in magazines or something like that. You know? Smooth. That's the kind of guy that she's with. I guarantee it. Mig's not gonna date a guy that's not smooth. Trust me. Guy you're looking for is smooth. Smooth and good looking. More good looking than smooth. But smooth. Do you know why you're here? Uh, no, actually I don't. We've heard that there's been a relationship going on here at the uh, dealership. One of the employees, you know her as Mig. Mm-hmm. Familiar with her? I am. My question to you is, have you had any relationships in or outside of the property with her? Excuse me? Like, relationship? What are you, what are you talking about? Well, we've heard rumors that you've been engaging in a relationship with her. Something more than friends, let's just say. <laughs> okay, and, and they said it was me? No, nah, no, nah, that, that's, nah, that's it's not me. Nope, sorry. Can't help you. What kind of proof can you provide for me that it wouldn't be you? Well, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a girlfriend. And? And other than that, it couldn't be me if, if I wanted to. I'm, she's a Maverick fan. I'm from Oklahoma City. That's not going to work. Tim, I'm starting to bring you back in again, but we just spoke with Antonio and it's not him. To date me? You asked him? I said he was good looking. I said smooth. Come on, have you seen the way this guy dresses? I used to dress like that when I was in elementary school. Mink's not gonna go for a guy like that. Are you kidding me? You need to give us more to go on. Okay, aside from how good this guy looks, aside from how smooth he is, I'd say he's very charismatic. Real charming, this guy. Ladies man. Can you state your name, please? Cat Reyna. And do you know why you're here today? No. All right, it's been brought to our attention that one of our head employees you know her as Mig. She's been uh, engaged in a relationship with somebody here at the dealership. Would you know anything about that? No. Well, you have actually been pointed out to be the other end of the relationship. Me? Yes. Uh, I'm married. We're aware of that. Uh, I like white girls. Okay. Tim, I am disappointed. We've we talked to Cat, and he's definitely not the man. Cat? I see the ladies' man. Cat's not a ladies' man. I'm giving you solid clues here. I'm giving you guys everything that I know. You've got to dig deeper. You got to give us something better. Okay. This guy's smooth, very good looking, a charmer, and a ladies' man and good looking. He's also funny. Eddie Murphy, little Dave Chappelle, little Chris Rock, that kind of funny. Thanks for coming in. Oh, no problem. Uh, I'd like to get back to work sometime soon. I kind of don't even know why I'm here. I'm a little nervous. 
Well, let's just say that we've been made aware that there is a relationship going on here at work between two workers. And one of the workers, we know who it is. The other worker, we think, might be you. Huh? Me? We have to ask you point blank. Have you been having relationships more than friends with Mig? McDowell? Yes. Yeah, 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 that was me. That was me. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, hell yeah. McDowell? Fine, Philly, like that. That was me. So that was me. That was all me. You're not denying it. Every. Deny? See this? Bought me this last week in Shreveport. We just went on a whim. I'd say we've been seeing each other for anywhere around from two to three solid weeks. I mean, we're going strong. Okay, this the relationship we're talking about here has been going on for at least a year or more. So I don't So think... she with somebody else? Is that what you're telling me? No. This is not our guy. I, no, but... I... Tim, I don't know what to say. You said the guy was funny. We talked to J.O. And, and though J.O. admitted to it, he's not the guy. J.O.? Are you kidding me? I said funny. Not corny. Jill isn't funny. I'm funny. I give you guys solid clues. I said good looking. You grab Antonio. I see a ladies man. You grab a cat. I say funny. You grab the dullest guy in the place. These guys aren't fit for Mig. Mig needs a guy that's going to treat her like a queen. I'm the only guy that could treat her like... Wait, 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 wait. You just said you're the only guy? No, I said Mig needs a guy. No, you said I'm the only guy. No, I said Marty McFly. I was talking about the DeLorean. The De I can't do this anymore. It, uh... I can't do this. I, um... It's me. Thanks for coming back in. No problem. Uh, I apologize before for accusing you. We actually found out who the other person in the relationship is. See, man, I told you. You, oh, yeah, I, you didn't have to find out. That you, I know when you, no, found, no, no. you found out it's, when I told you. It's not you. It's Tim Bennett. We just need you to corroborate this. Stop traffic. Did you just say Tim Bennett? Tim? <laughs> Are you sure? The guy that's in front of me? Tim Bennett. No. Okay. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> you, you find that funny? The fat dude who drives neon, that farts all the time. He's like a 12 year old living in a 30 year old's body. You serious? She's dating Tim Bennett. Well, what makes you believe that it wouldn't be him? You sure? That's my boy. My man, 100 grand. Uh, you know, that's my guy. You know, I'll, Ryan, huh? And you know, one thing, one thing, one of the reasons we really clicked like we did is because he's funny. But he ain't McDowell, you're funny. You know, he's he's my he's my guy and all, that's my boy, but you know, she's a little, a little out of his league. You know, but good good for him. We figured it out. We've interviewed quite a few people and we believe we understand who the relationship is with. You're not in danger of being fired, but it can have adverse effects on the work environment. We want to make sure that this relationship is solid. We, we know it's Tim. Yes. So convince me, how is this relationship going to work out? Um, first, wait, first, how long has this relationship been going on? <laughs> oh man, this is... Uh, Tim and I have been friends for so long and our friendship turned into just hanging out all the time and just we had so many things in common and I don't know it just turned into us dating each other and he treats me like a princess what we share is it's it there's nothing that we can't uh, overcome we would that we wouldn't let it interfere here at work it just it wouldn't be an issue at all there's no way
Megan and I are different simply because I can't be without her. I've never met anybody that, that treats me the way that she does. I can be me. Any error that I have makes these past it. All my flaws are perfections in her eyes. She makes me feel like no one else can. She's the only person that I can't be without. I love her with all my heart. And do you see that this is gonna hurt any of your productivity? Absolutely not. I have a woman. I have to have a job to provide for that woman. We've asked her a series of questions and we were to ask you the same questions and see how well you two are connected on them. The first thing I wanna know, have you guys talked about family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've talked about We've talked about marriage, we've talked about, I mean, it's, we've been together for a while, so we've talked about, um, we want to have kids. We definitely want to have kids. How many? He says one. I say two. Um, because I want our kids to have a sibling. He's like, well, we're in our thirties. You know, we probably, you know, one's probably good, you know, and I just kind of think we should have two, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I see us 10 years from now, me in the backyard of our, of our new home, cutting the lawn, seeing her come out, reading books on the patio, our kid walking up to us, wanting to play catch, maybe going to a Yankee game. You said kid or kids, so how many, how many children are you thinking about having? I'm thinking about having two. Two kids is what I'm thinking about having. If you guys want a new car, who gets the new car? I get the new car. <laughs> she does. She gets the car, Range Rover. It's a promise I made to her first on date. Why is this relationship gonna last? Our relationship's gonna last because I think that we are meant to be together. I think he is my soulmate, I really do. I just, I can't, I can't see myself without him. I just can't. He's just, um, I love the fact that he is so family oriented and there's, you don't see that many people that are family based anymore and, and we are alike in so many ways and that's, that's one of the big things that, that made me fall for him was how much he loves his family and how quickly he began to love, you know, to love mine. I love bug I just want you to know that I am so happy right now at this moment in my life you make me the happiest girl in the world every single day and I can't thank God enough for you and for your lovely family and for just being the man that you are to me and showing me that you know true love is is real and you show it to me all the time um i just want you to know you make me so happy and i love you um i can't even really put into words uh, how much i love you but um i'm happy and this is the beginning of our journey together our life and i can't wait till god blesses us with children and just I, I'm just excited and I just can't wait so today and always I love you and thank you for everything Mwah. hi my name is Tim Bennett I'm uh, I'm 32 years old um, I like to play Madden on my PlayStation and I came here to eHarmony oh I mean uh, sorry not eHarmony I'm a married man now so that means I'm talking to you my wife. Babe, you know what's funny? I'm a, I'm a very, very superstitious person. So we're making this before we got, get married. So in advance, I want to thank our Father for allowing us to see this day. I want to thank you for being my lady. Thank you for sticking beside me. Thank you for believing in me. Believing in my commitment to you. 
that we made over a year ago when I asked you for your hand? You could have said no. You could have, you had a million and one reasons to not go through with this, to say it's not going to work. But you believed in me, you believed in us, and you believed in our relationship. And I can't thank you enough. It is a debt that I owe my father that I could never repay him back for blessing me with a woman as amazing as you. I honestly can say that I cannot think of one time that I needed you and you were not there. And I can never repay you. And I just want to die trying. I'm so humbled to have you in my life. And I'm appreciative for the blessing that God gave me. You and I have been involved with each other since the first time we kissed. That's a good feeling. And I'm proud to say it. And I'm happy to be with you. And I'm blessed that you look past my faults. And still, still see this guy as your guy. And still love me enough to say that you want to spend the rest of your life with me. And baby, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I have not experienced true love until you and I found each other. Until you hit on me. And you know that's the truth. You hit on me. And that was the, the best thing that ever happened to me. You are my best friend. And a lot of people can't say that they lucked up and married their absolute best friend. And I'm one of those people. And I'm humble to say that. And I'm appreciative to have you in my life. I love you, baby. So this is the this is the thank you part. It so, is. So that means like we're sitting at the table looking at ourselves married. I look fly, don't I? <laughs> I have a boogie on my nose. Yeah, you you got a little little boogie right yeah. there. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Can't yeah. see it though. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming out. First and foremost, we are going to try to work this whole room and try to say thank you to everybody. But if there is somebody that we miss because we're dancing or because we're laughing or because we're, we're drinking, drinking. probably going to be drinking because Rigo probably had me have a drink. Or we, we're going to try to work this whole room. I'm going to try to say thank you and hug and kiss everybody. And I want to say I love you to my new family and to my current family. I love y'all with all my heart. Thank y'all for coming out, too. Um, this is the love of my life. And I think she deserves, I know she deserves a certain kind of gentleman that will treat her with respect. And if I wasn't raised by people who instilled those kind of values in me, then I wouldn't be able to take care of that job. Um, so when I call your name or slash title, raise your hand and show everyone that you're here. Uh, we'll start with Granny. I bet she look fly right now. <laughs> yeah, she probably looks really pretty. That's my Granny. And Cedric, Cedric Shelton, raise your hand, please. I bet you Cedric don't look fly. <laughs> I bet you Cedric don't look fly. All right, Cedric, put your hand down. Uh, my Aunt Jill. Jill gonna be fly, because I know Hardy there, so he gonna make sure she fly too. And Aunt Ann. It's my Annie. And my dad. And also my sister Pooh. Stand up. It's my sister. She Strike fly. a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> Diva, she probably Diva, blushing yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and last but most important, my mama. I love you, mama. Thank you all for everything that you have done for me in my upbringing. Uh, I'm well aware of if y'all wasn't there to put that foot in my butt when I wanted to be rebellious, I wouldn't be respectful and the gentleman that she deserves to have. So thank you. I love thank all of y'all. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Okay, since he took uh, the show, <laughs> I guess I can talk now. Um, I want to say thank you very much to uh, definitely my mother-in-law, my new mother-in-law. 
Um, you have raised a, an awesome, awesome man. Um, and everyone else he mentioned as well. Um, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys. Um, we couldn't have done this without you. Uh, he's trying to make me laugh. <laughs> but uh, mom and dad, I, I can't begin to even uh, uh -oh. thank you enough. Um, you what guys works. mean the world to me. And stop it. Sorry. Um, uh, but I just, I thank you guys all. My sister, Diana, Pap Papu, um, <laughs> Fernando, everyone that, that had um, something to do with, you know, me growing up to uh, my Aunt Ruthie, um, just my whole family. Uh, I just thank each and every one of you. And um, Shout out to Delaware. <laughs> I hope that you guys are enjoying yourself. We love you. Have a good time. Um, thank you for everyone that's helped out with this wedding. We couldn't have done it without you guys, and we love you guys very much. Uh, to my new family, I love you. To my current family, we just made a, a bigger family. So we love you.